guys, welcome back to Electrical Engineering Channel. So today is the episode I've been waiting a long time for and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I'm going to be taking um, apart my old electric scooter which is a Razor E200 electric scooter. It has a top speed of 10 miles per hour, however lately it's been going 3 or 4 miles per hour. The motor is very degraded, all the metal on it is rusted and I got a new electric scooter which is the 9 bot uh, Kick Scooter Max which goes like 20 miles per hour and it has a range of 40.4 miles um so today i'm going to be taking it apart um and i think this one is going to go very in depth and people are really interested in electric scooters i think i mean currently the best electric scooter you can get is one that's four thousand dollars has a top speed of 55 miles per hour which you could take on the main road and a battery life of 60 mi uh, 60 miles so today we're going to be taking it apart and I hope you guys enjoy. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do to get inside of this thing is we need to get rid of the six uh, Phillip head uh, screws in our way and also the two 1 16th hex screws that are also in our way. So after removing this, the first thing we could see in here is we see the battery, we see um, data cables going to a power supply. Um, we also see this iron bar, and we also see a chain from the motor being ran to the tires, which also are pretty cool. But um, uh, let's take a further look. So once I bend uh, the piece of metal, we see this memory foam pad is taking the pressure off the batteries. And right here, you see the batteries has black and a red wire, um, which is positive and negative. You can see right there on the batteries, it says um, positive and it says negative right there. And <clears throat> these are also soldered or glued onto the battery. These are uh, rechargeable lithium ion batteries. And right here we have the charge port and we have the switch to turn it on. So um, the switch to turn it on and the charge port aren't direct wires. Basically, they have wires and then they snap with other wires just like a Lego. And then from there, they are taken to the power supply, and from there, it has different um, chips in there that knows how, when it's fully charged, and when it's not fully charged, and how much percent it needs, and when it's turned on. So, you could see that it goes to that little power supply, and these batteries right here um, charge them all, and they also run to the power supply. And you also see this one, this wire in particular, is running through the base of um, the electric scooter and then from there they are taken to the motor and there it powers the motor and the uh, and the motor uses power from uh, the battery to run so you can also see right there alright so I removed the chain and first thing we could see is the motor now I tried to remove the top part of it but I, unfortunately I couldn't but we could still see inside and we see copper wire and this copper wire has power currently going through it. And this copper wire powers the whole entire motor. But we'll have to have a separate video on that. Um, can't get a lot of what's inside of this right now. 